Hi, today I want to tell you um, one way that I introduce um, history to young students. And I would probably introduce this to uh, maybe five and six year olds. Uh, and I start with explaining that each one of them have their own history. And it's the important events of their own life. And I often use um, literature or books to be a springboard for learning. And so I have a book that I'm going to show you as well. But I want to point out to you, uh, as a celebration of each child's birth in the classroom, at the time of their birthday, uh, together with their parents, they create their own timeline in a format that is uh, pretty open-ended. This particular student started with uh, her infancy and birth uh, photographs up until her sixth birthday, and it's a very special activity that they do at home with their parents, and their parents then get to retell to them the story of their life, and they get to um, really fe feel honored and understand the importance of uh, who they are in their family structure. So that's an important part that leads them into uh, curiosity about other people's history. I would also introduce um, the way that history is passed from generation to generation um, in their families, often from the elders to the youngest. And there's a particular book that I love a lot called Knots on a Counting Rope. And um, this particular book may not be um, historically accurate, I think it's all fiction, but it's a beautiful telling of a tradition where the grandfather um, is telling the story of his grandson's birth. And this particular boy uh, was born blind. So in this story, there's a lot of uh, unique features that help this child understand how much he's loved and how much he, he um, is uniquely designed uh, to live his life because his grandfather tells him with great passion and, and interest and love the, the beautiful story of his life and how he believes he's powerful and he has great courage. And, and he tells him the things in his life that he has already overcome in his young life. And so it, it's a nice compliment to the students who have created a, a timeline of their own life and they've had that time at home uh, talking with their parents and extended family members and maybe off, um, also grandparents. And I actually think on this particular um, poster, the grandmother actually helped the granddaughter uh, create this and, and then created another special bond. But I think that's uh, the most appropriate way to introduce history to a younger student.